What's going on guys and welcome, welcome your faces to Timber Boring, a game you guys know I've done a video on in the past, but I've got that sudden urge and that sudden drive to play it again. And more than likely, a lot of you guys have played it, so you, a lot of you are going to be experienced within this, and I can say for certain, I am not. I'm probably going to kill a lot of beavers by accident, by mistake. You know, the, just the usual stuff. For those that don't know what it is, it's a colony building uh, with beavers. And we get to build dams, there's like a water flow mechanic and all this kind of good stuff. But I'm going to shut up and we're going to start a brand new game and we're going to play as the Fork Tales. I have unlocked the Iron Teeth, but I've never really got to like end game content. Technically, there is no end game right now because it's still in the early access. We're currently on update four and I believe five is around the corner. And, and right now I'm recording this on Sunday and I'm more than likely going to be live streaming this tomorrow, which will be Monday the 15th. And this video will be coming out by the end of this week. So make sure to tune into the live stream if you want to possibly see some Timber Boring content. So let's jump into this with Forktales and we're going to go on to the recommended map. So the first thing we're going to do is name our little well, settlement here, Spoonville. And we can see our lovely beavers coming out to play and getting eager to build their little settlement. So I'm going to hit pause right now because I just want to make sure I'm familiar with the UI. So we can see everything over here regarding our population, our current children as well, um, our occupied beds, free beds, homelessness, and our current jobs and vacancies and all that kind of good stuff. We've got our tech points up here, our materials, our ingredients, food, logs, and water. And for those that don't know, there is a thing called droughts in this. So every so often up here, we'll see this and a weather thing come in. So all of our vegetation, our food, our beavers drink water and there's a lot of water usage. And there will be a drought, which means the river will suddenly dry up. And we need to make and put into place, you know, certain, you know, reservoirs and all this kind of stuff with lots of water physics and dynamite and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to shut up because we're going to jump in here and we're going to start getting these beavers moving and grooving. So what I want to do is I think if I remember correctly, we want to look into wood and we want to start grabbing the lumberjack flag. So we want to put this down and we want to make sure the arrow's facing towards us like so, because we want a beaver to work here and start getting, uh, getting the, uh, the cutting down the trees. So let's put in a path as well. Let's get a path being built. And then we're also going to need some water. So we'll get some water to come straight down here like this, a little pathway. And we're gonna get them being built now, but we're gonna get some water and we're gonna build a water pump. And we're gonna put that right there. Uh, I don't know numerical values of what each beaver requires um, per day cycle or per shift cycle. Um, so I'm gonna keep an eye on that and I will notify you as soon as I do. But there's a lot of stuff here that are locks, but as you can tell, they require um, some uh, science points. So we're going to put down a science building and get somebody working in that and get they're known as inventors. We're going to assign somebody that so somebody is working. But we've got this little notification, which means we need to assign the uh, mark the trees for cutting. So we're going to mark all of these trees right here to get cut down. That's going to be in the vicinity of this little wood chopper. And then he's going to go in there then and start chopping these uh, trees down. Uh, and start, you know, I think this is the one that's working on here. It is. And he's going to cut this down and get us some logs. So we're going to get a little storage container here. And we're going to dedicate that by clicking on this question mark to make it to be logs. Next thing we need to look at is food. So, because one, they need to eat. We do have berries over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a pathway and take this all the way over here like this. And if I remember correctly, yeah, there's some stirs right here. And we're going to take a path from there all the way to there and take that to the stairs so they can kind of reach this top section up here because that's the only way they can reach up onto these next like um, bits of rock here uh, and we don't have stairs yet because obviously if we look in pathways, stairs, um, we need science points which hopefully our well, list gets built soon enough uh, and then what we want to do now is under food we want to look at gathering flag so we want to put this down let's say here and we're going to put down another storage um but this one's going to be a warehouse and we want to put this and make this to be berries so all of our berries will get stored in here i just need to find it 
Uh, berries, here we go. So we'll get somebody to work on the berries. Um, and yeah, we're kind of just waiting for all them to kind of get built now. So I'm just wondering if we should put down another logging um, little stump here and get two of them taking these logs down. Uh, and do these reach over here? They do over, They do reach over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab a path um, and take that down there. So they, they can reach down there and uh, hopefully they'll grab that. Because I don't think they'll run it all the way across here. They can only go so from, far from the path to then grab whatever. Um, but the water's still being built. And speaking of water, we do need a water storage. So let's grab... Um, one, two, three, four. I, I, th I think that might be overkill right now, but to be honest, four containers of water. So I think they only have um a thirty capacity. Uh, no, that's the that's the uh, it's that, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's got a thirty capacity. Well, this one's got three hundred is absolutely massive and even that large tank 1200 so now what we're going to do is we're just going to wait for these to get built um but i want to put down a farm as well so we're going to put down a farmhouse and let's just say uh let's put you here and we're going to go into the plant crops and we're going to get carrots because uh, we could put potatoes down as well, but carrots take four days. Uh, so I'm thinking we just kind of do like a full strip right like that. Or we could just kind of maybe go from here, do like a carrot plantation there. Maybe another plantation here of something and put another farmhouse down here. Maybe with potatoes. Um, maybe we do that because we've got to look at the uh, people as well. We've only got eight technically workers right now. The children won't do anything, um, but we need to look into housing. Um, because housing will allow them to breed and we can get more beavers. So we've got Lodge and Lodge Mirrored. Uh, and it can only hold three people. A place to spend the night, solid. Other buildings can be built on top of this. Unique to this faction, basic needs is sleep, basic needs shelter. Inhabitants, three. Yes, yeah, so it's only three people. So we're going to have to build a few of these. So I'm just kind of wondering if to kind of build these like a little estate back here maybe we can build them on top of each other so we'll kind of go for like this for now and put four down we'll build a little roadway and i'm thinking we kind of build like an apartment blocks here so when we can start taking the pathway and start making you know higher pathways i'm thinking like put more houses on top of here and maybe have it like it mirrored onto this side kind of thing uh, and all that good stuff but let's speed up time uh, and let's just um get things rolling here All right, so we've got a little progress going on now. We've got the berries being collected and they're all being stored. We can see all them being stacked in there. We don't have any houses up, but I did set this farmhouse right here. I did set the priority of the construction to be high, which we can do via these little arrows here, or we can go down into this assigned priorities and choose, you know, the priorities of like workplace and all this kind of stuff. So we can like select, okay, we want this to be built next. So what they'll do then, they'll focus on this to bring the logs so this as a priority before anything else uh, and all that bloody good stuff. So we now have two water tanks going up and we have a few children that as well. We have to, I think two children have grown up to be adults. So that's two extra workers. Um, we don't have any builders yet because I do remember we can get builders and I think that's in district management. Yeah, here we go, a hauling post. And what this does, this just assign people who don't really have jobs to start hauling things. So maybe water from here to here or bringing the berries from this location to the storage. Or if the berries need to go into, let's say, a um, cooking place, um, they'll bring them to the, instead of the workers actually doing it themselves. Um, so the farm is fully planted now. We do have the logging storage. It is currently nighttime. We just need these houses to get built so they stop sleeping outside. Um, so I'm, I am wondering if, if we should build down a hauling post or we put down a um, a potato farm, which I think I might do actually. I might put down a second, a second farm here and we're going to place a potato farm uh, and we're just going to do it into that location right there. I think that's like a, a good little good little amount there uh, i think to be honest that's not even enough symmetrical isn't it one two three four five six seven six it is 
And that, that's just me eyeballing it. Um, but now that we've got that, these trees are slowly running out. And what we want to do to combat that is we want a lumber mill. And a lumber mill, as you can see in the top right-hand corner, requires 50 horsepower. And that means we need to make power. And to make power, we've got to use water wheels or we use power wheels. And power wheels are basically like a hamster wheel that we can put down. Uh, and one of our beavers will run in there and do what it needs to do. But we can also automate that by putting water wheels into uh, the river uh, the river here uh, but the problem with that is when a drought happens there's no water passing through here there will be no water flow um so that means obviously then water wheels won't work and maybe we'll have to resort to manual labor where we'll have to use the power wheels so, so i'm wondering if we put down a couple of power wheels for manual sake but i do want to get a um forestry up uh, and we need 60 resource points for that. And up in the top left-hand corner right now, we've got 42. So as soon as we get 60, we're going to unlock the forester. And then we can start assigning the person who works in the forester to start planting trees in this location. Um, so we don't have to keep, you know, you know, moving our wood choppers to different locations. We can kind of make this our little place where we get our supplies for logs. Uh, and then hopefully this storage gets filled up uh, and all that good stuff. So... What I want to do now is I want to look into the lumber mill. So I want to place this down. Maybe we place it in down here in this location, possibly. Or I could place it here, to be fair. Um, I'm just thinking about placement just because of... Um, you know what? It can actually go... The reason I'm thinking about placement is because we need to power this, right? And to transport the power, we've got to use power shafts. Good old word, shaft. Uh, and we can see these. We've got little... Uh, wheels and this old cog base and all that kind of st cool stuff and what i want to do is i want to look at uh putting down uh because this how much does this need 50 horsepower and one power wheel needs oh one wheel powers 50 horsepower so what i could do is i could have just attached this right to the back of the building uh just as a temporary solution um which we could do that so as long as there's one um beaver running on that we should have uh, it up and running and we're going to bring this pathway along here and then i'm also going to build a storage um i'm pretty sure this can be done for planks can this be done for planks it can so we can put planks in there uh we've got a wheel that's attached to that that building so that will provide power to there um and then we also need to build a path here as well like that uh, and then eventually, what I want to do is I want to bring some water wheels maybe down into this location. But we want to kind of, later down the line, look at optimizing the flow of water to make the most potential out of the water wheels. Okay, so a day's passed and we can kind of see the uh, carrots are starting to now grow uh, and are ready for harvest. Um, the, these are only like 50% we can kind of see here. And a lot of these will start popping up now like we can see here. So we've got carrots... Um, and I've just realized as well, I don't have a carrot storage. Uh, I'm pretty sure they can eat them raw, uh, the carrots. And same with the potatoes, I think. Uh, but regarding the potatoes, we will need a um, a grill. And the grill can actually cook the potatoes to, well, to some jacket potatoes if they wanted to eat that. Um, so we could put kind of maybe put this down. Um, it doesn't require power, um, but having... The grilled potatoes might not be a bad thing, you know, as long as they can keep up with the production. One thing I don't want to do as well right now is make wait, too many jobs for people. Uh, for example, right now, we have nobody that can work in this, but obviously this do, this this needs power. So this currently having, uh, the logs are currently being built for it. And we do have a lot of beavers here that technically don't need to work here so we could bring this down uh, and i'm thinking about just having to maybe even just having one farm out to do all of this might be useful especially with these having a longer uh, cycle so that will be something i may look into and maybe just have three workers in this farmhouse and remove this one and just extend the farm here but i'm just waiting for this to get up so we can assign someone to this as a uh, priority um so we want to make sure the um workplace is set to a priority otherwise this building won't be able to you know work and i'm going to reduce uh the amount of workers in this place so we'll keep sly going to that farmhouse We've got two in there, so we've got three in total. Actually, let's just remove that one and bring that one down. Or we can pause that one, can't we? No, let's just no, let's keep it like that and have that one set to two. Otherwise, we'll have the big 
pause thing up there. So we need to look into reproduction as well, because obviously our beavers can die of old age. Um, our houses are, you know, built now. So we've got three, six. Uh, we've got enough um, beds. We've got no free beds available. So if we do kind of start breeding, we do need to build some more houses. Um, so if we look at housing, I don't know what we need to actually uh, well-being. Is it um, a campfire? Social life goes up. Visitors five. A place for beavers to relax and socialize in the evening. Must be built on the ground. Um, okay, so we can we can kind of throw one of these down, I guess. Let's throw it. Let's throw it here. Yeah, let's throw it there. That takes some time to build because they always build in the priority that I build them, right? So the next thing that's going to get built is probably this storage and then this kitchen and then that. Uh, so our current well-being is currently set to five. We can get this up by giving them wet fur. I believe to get wet fur, I think it's a shower, which is this down here. Basic needs, yeah, wet fur. So the better our morale, the more they'll be happy and nutrition and social life uh, will go up in a minute when we get campfire. Uh, and for those wondering, uh, iron teeth, you can actually unlock that by getting, you know, well being of 15 and you unlock them and obviously i've already unlocked them whilst when i played it like what a year and a half ago maybe maybe something on the lines of that but i am looking and keeping my eye on this water as well it's fine for now but if we at least go up to a, i think a minimum of maybe 18 we might have a problem with uh water especially when it comes to the drought which we've not heard anything about just yet one thing i have done is i forgot to set these trees to be marked for chopping down so right now we have a bit of a problem because all these trees have been cut down or oh, this one's broke his tooth and to fix that we actually need a grindstone so we need to put a grindstone down just for the well-being and i guess we can uh could throw this into this little corner here we'll put two of them down i said it's a bit more than we need to i think for now but the reason i didn't put them down for logging so that means th there was no logs incoming. So I'm waiting for like the supplies to come in here, but there's not receiving any logs. So uh, I'm thinking we're going to have to maybe put one up here as well and maybe go for a tree cutter up here. Or I can just assign these. Let's, 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 let's assign this for tree cutting here. And then we'll just get all these being chopped as well. Like so. And hopefully that'll be enough trees. Bef until we actually get our um, forestry up. Right, so we can unlock the forester. So we're going to do that with a science point. I'm going to get this to be placed right here. Um, and that's going to co cost us 10 logs to... Uh, sorry, 7 planks and 10 logs. Uh, and we do have 10 planks in there ready to go. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to sign... Because we have logs coming in, I am going to sign this building to have a high priority for a job and hopefully someone jumps on that and we can start getting planks being made here just until this gets up and running because we're getting pretty close right now obviously there's no workers in here we want to do some grilled potatoes so we can assign that job i believe we don't have anybody working in here right now so we've got two people in there all these still need harvesting these are now starting to grow again and then they're going to need planting again so i think right now the three is what we need to be honest We've got carrots going into there. They can't cut these down because there's no storage for them. So maybe I've got to put down another medium warehouse here. Oh, no, because they can get stored into there, right? But I could put grilled potatoes maybe into this storage. Yeah, let's put grilled store uh, grilled potatoes into here. Grilled potatoes there. So the raw potatoes will go into there. Grilled potatoes will go into there. And obviously, they'll get cooked in here. So everything's kind of in this general location for that. Okay, we're now getting the alert for a drought, which is coming in just less than three days. And I'm going to set this uh, forester up to be a priority right now. Oh, no, the uh, the construction site to be a priority uh, over anything else. And then I want to prioritize the actual campfire as well. That should be enough water to last us. I think the drought's probably going to last us maybe about three, three to four days, I think. Okay, so the forestry, the, well, the forester has been... Uh, has been created. We just now need to plant uh, trees. I'm just probably just going to put the birch one down for, now, down for now. And then in the future, I'm going to look at adding some maybe some pine. So we'll put these down in this location. Um, and I forgot to add a storage as well for the carrots. So I'm wondering, like, why are they not 
Midnight Harvest in these. And the, the store in them in here. I've noticed we've got berries, we've got potatoes, we've got grilled potatoes, but we don't have any carrot storage. So I'm going to put a carrot storage down here and put that into there. And then now we've got this up and running. Hopefully Sligo can start placing these trees down. But what I want to do is I want to optimize uh, the amount of space they've got here. So we can build all the way up until this line right here. So I'm going to put down the pines all the way in that location and wait till they chop the, down these trees because they'll regrow again, but I can fill them gaps in as a later date. So let's speed up time here. We have got the kitchen up and running now, but like I said, I've been kind of like adjusting this to allow people to come in, like prioritizing the job. But we do have a an unfortunate accident because Jub Jubakara has died of old age. So we, we immediately need to look into um getting new settlers and we need to get this up and running as soon as possible to be honest so i'm going to high prioritize that so we can start seeing some babies happen uh, and if i'm not mistaken we kind of pause this because this controls the birth and we don't want the beavers to constantly keep breeding because if that's the case you know they're gonna you know use our supplies up that we have and we, we want to kind of control that and we can see now the drought has started. So if we look up up river right now, we can see the water is slowly coming down the river uh, and is bringing down the drought. So everything's drying up and that will include our farms and everything over here as well. So hopefully we have enough food, which I do believe we do. We've got berries, we've got this and the drought's only going to last us three days. We've got four water. I think that will last us four days as well. Um with what we've got. We currently have a child that's just been born, um, which is good, but I want to make sure that, you know, the, the beavers are socializing, they're growing in population, but not too fast. That's going to cause us to have a little bit of an a economy uh, crash. Okay, so I'm just extending this road on here because uh, I've just built an additional three houses here um, just so I can kind of extend on with what we want to do. And I'm going to place a road here because I think that's going to be a perfect size for another storage we have got 171 science points and all these uh, potatoes have unfortunately died because it's dried out because of hydration um and these carrots are going to probably dry out as well so these farmers will end up ripping all these up uh, we only have one and a half days left of this drought but we do need to prep for the next stage so what i'm going to do is i'm going to look into landscaping and we do have dams blocks water but allows some to pass through the spillway at the top it's a solid other buildings can be built on top of this so we can put a dam down if we wanted to and i think that's what i'm going to look at doing and i'm going to place this um i would say let's do this right there yeah and then we're going to go into pathing and we're going to unlock the platforms and we're going to unlock that and we're going to build a um you know what would be easier if we get a pathway to go across the top of that so we can lead over there and then if we go into demolish uh unmark uh demolish resources like this and we can build a pathway along here doing that it might be a bit counterproductive maybe but we've got a pathway now and they can go across there like a little bridge and if we look at this we can see there's a bit of a gap at the top which is i think it's about 0.75 um of a gap so the the water will block up to anything here and every, anything that goes into this hole will push through on the opposite side so that does mean when we have the next drought um the water in this little riverbed here up until this block right there will actually keep water in there for a short period of time uh until you know the water the the, the sun uh, evaporates the uh, water in here which will take a little bit longer but at least we've got some water to fertilize our crops and trees here um because right now we are in a bit of a predicament so the river is now filling back up with water the drought has officially ended which means we can start get everything growing again productivity can start and we can see it was three days and we, it was just at the bottom of this barrel right here with the current people we have which is say 11 12 because one of them has literally just died um and i'm hoping we get a couple more beavers eventually so i'll put down a couple more houses and maybe that will entice them to give us a couple more beavers and maybe six more hopefully um but Let's get things moving and grooving here. We are going to be lacking down in jobs. So what I'm going to do for now, we need to prioritize where our jobs could be taken. 
So we do have quite a bit of potatoes in here. We're going to assign somebody to this farm. Um, and we've got one person there and we've got one person. We actually want to assign this as a secondary job. Um, I want to make sure. Okay, we have one person here. One person not on there. We have somebody over here that should be chopping. Oh, no. We want somebody over there. And we want that one as well. Because we need the... Uh, actually, no. We don't need the berries as of such right now. So let's kind of deprioritize that one. Make sure they're chopping the trees there. We've got one there. He just kind of stood still, but he is waiting for these to grow. This one's growing. We have these being replanted again. We have no workers in that one, but two in that one. That should be just enough for what we have. Uh, he's running along there, but we don't have any wood being made. We don't really need planks right now, do we? Unless these need planks. No, these just need logs. So let's stop the production of, of these and get him working somewhere else. We do now have somebody in the kitchen grilling potatoes, which is good for our food. So yeah, we can see our food right now. It's going up, which is nice. We have run out of carrots as well during that drought. Um, but we, we really need these trees to get growing. And they're only 11% right now, 7%. That's because they was just built at the start of the drought, which was unfortunate for us. But these will take a couple of days to actually get done. Right, it's been a number of days now. And as you can see, some of these trees are now starting to finally, finally grow because... Oh boy, it's been a very, very slow few days trying to get, you know, things being built. And this is near enough just over halfway of being built as well. Um, I have added another water pump here because if we look up here now, we can see we have five children and we have 10 adults. So our population is growing a little bit uh, and we are full. Uh, well, I wouldn't say full, but we have quite a few grilled potatoes in here. Uh, which is going good for us right now. We're currently sitting on 220 research points as well. And I'm currently debating our current next stage, what we should be looking for. And I'm, what I'm wondering is if we should head down to get gears. Because uh, gears are kind of essential when it comes to like maybe, you know, uh, other buildings and more uh, additional uh, structures we can start heading down into like metal scavenging and all that kind of stuff but like i said i do kind of want to get the wheels up and running um to kind of get these down um windmills i've never touched these and i've never touched gravity batteries there's a lot of stuff here i've never really really touched um but we definitely want to get this being built because we've not heard anything about a drought yet but i'm expecting one literally momentarily um but at least we're getting wood now uh, and is this being yeah this is this is the last project i put down and the, the least at least the logs have been added here now which is good to know we currently have what three six nine twelve uh 15 18 21 um we've got five beds available i should have just counted up there right um the berries just keep growing back here maybe you, I, I could put a forestry down here and get just berries growing um maybe Okay, so we should have now that complete. So we can see the water is seeping through just over here. And the water has been raised in this section here. So we have kind of like um, sectioned off this now. So when a drought does come, well, at least we'll have some water being held in here for a short period of time. And it could last longer as well if we turn both of these water pumps off to do so as well. We do need to get some more adults we currently sat on 14 with two ch uh, two, uh, two children. And we do have, I think, two vacancies available regarding jobs. So with the current population, it should fill our demand for our vacancies. And then we should look at maybe looking into the gear stuff. So I think we're going to start looking into doing that now. Bring down a path over here um, with a... How do I want to do this? So if we look into the water wheels... It's going to be like that, isn't it? Uh, we want the best floor, obviously, possible, right? And I know it's it's going to be terrible in this location, but I think just building four here, they will get affected by the dam, uh, by the, 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 the floor here, but we'll just see how it does. We've got to science it, right? So let's um, go into here and also build a pathway straight across there like this, just so we can kind of future-proof ourselves and extend that along there like so. Um, I'm, I don't think these will get affected by the floor, technically. Um, but then what we can do is we're going to put down that there with then a um, 
wheels and we want to just assign this to go all the way up there like but i kind of want to make sure we're set here in the future as well uh, i could just link the uh the gears to another building right i could wait what if i was just to re remove this bit here then look at putting down the gears factory so let's unlock that place that in that location right there i sign assign a road like so and because these are next to each other they're in adjacent blocks when we go down to put the power it should transfer over to the next building and this is gonna uh how much power does this need 120 horsepower plus the 50 that this requires as well so we're gonna need 170 and each of these wheels are gonna provide 90 each um so hopefully that works well there and i'm probably going to remove this wheel uh, and assign it maybe assign um oh we've got another drought coming in oh we need to get some more water up and running here so let's just kind of fully get them going to fill them up we have got more oh my god we've got seven kids coming in now as well um we need to keep an eye on that because we are growing but we can see a wheel going uh it's current horsepower is 70 obviously that will get affected by these other ones going but like i said science you gotta learn by doing right i am worried about this current water situation here saying we're, right, we're growing in numbers i feel like we do need to increase this so i think what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna get some platforms i'm gonna place these here like this uh, and i want to look into the water storage and maybe unlock the medium tank which does require 20 gears which we are heading to anyway so i'm just wondering if we should put this down in this location here and then maybe two 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 more smaller ones I, th I think maybe we look at doing that it could be a bad idea but we will need more water production and i could if i wanted to build some more platforms here to build more water um right here as well our food is definitely holding up for us so we're we're in a good position for food but i'm going to put down another water plant there so i'm going to get these built first because i don't want to build okay oh, speed of that one that one is moving that one's obviously slowed down now because probably this one uh has picked up space uh, picked up pace plus it's in a bad position anyway this one as long as it gives us a good chunk yeah this is not going to op be optimized or anything like that uh, and to combat this if we want to get better flow from these what we could do is maybe make a dam in this location here and have the water pour out a lot quicker so if we back this up and the water pours down here these will all move at like supersonic speed hopefully yeah fingers crossed but we have got a drought now which does mean our water system here should be working and we're going to actually pause these two for now because i don't want the water being drained uh from this whole uh, u-bend here in the river but we can see the water is now dissipating from this area uh, and it will slowly fizzle out in a second you'll see it but we've got water nice and trapped in this area which means all of our plants here are still being moisturized or keeping moist and there we go this reservoir now has now been drained there is a deeper pod there uh, and I, eventually i would like to maybe section a quarter of this off to make our own res reservoir uh, and bring the water from there over to this section um but right now we're in a very very good position i would say we're just going to wait for these wheels to get constructed we've got to wait 3.1 days um for the drought uh, so obviously none of these trees here will start um oh no these will grow still because of it's still being watered so at least we're still getting some logs it's just a matter of we need these trees to get growing a little quicker right so i've just noticed that one of our beavers is medically ill uh, and he's requiring uh, some medical attention so we've just unlocked the medical bed um so we can place this down i'm just going to probably put this down over here where the rest of the stuff are i could put it into here maybe um i was looking at this oh, we can put it there yeah we can put a, a medical bed right there uh, and hopefully he will get better and be at tip top shape right so the drought has finally ended the water should be coming back in now i've assigned all these to be destroyed and uh, so we can kind of free up some space here for any future projects um and we still have no sign of the gear workshop we're still waiting for the planks to come through but obviously with the drought being uh happening right now um we have the planks here but we don't have any like haulers so what i'm wondering we do have a few people without jobs right now so i'm just thinking about putting a hauling post in uh so we can start getting people moving and sending some items around the place and to build this we're going to need planks 
and logs as well. So I'm going to make that as a priority right now so we can get things kind of moving. And I'm going to put down a path right there because that's going to help a lot of people because they keep coming down this way. Uh, I didn't. That's just me being a spoon and missed that. But our wheels are up and running again. We still need the uh, construction for this, which is currently underway as well. Um, our trees are constantly growing. So when these usually get chopped down over here, these ones over here start growing. So it's kind of like a wave that happens. So these will grow and these are getting planted. When these grow, these, these are then being, you know, so it's it's working pretty well. Food, like I said, is keeping up. We've, uh, the water situation does need um, a fix. Uh, and I'm hoping that this gear shop, we're going to put that onto construction um, to be done after the hauling post. So we do have a few planks in there, which we could couple more. There we go. And we're going to sign the rest of the workers into this post right here. So this is kind of all like, if you don't have a job anywhere else, come and work here. Just be uh, transporting goods from A to B and help the colony and the settlement. Just kind of be a bit more proactive. Right, it's about to become morning, which means the gears are now done, which means hopefully the power is now passing through here and I can reduce this down to where it needs to. So yeah, so we have production in here now. We do want to start looking into getting a worker into the gears. And I have put two little storage down right next to the planks right here, just for the for the gears to be in. Because I, don't, the, I feel like right now in the current position we're in, we're going to need more planks than what we're going to need gears. And I don't want the gears to be over like stocked with one of these, like, well, technically it'll be in one of these storages. Um, and I feel like it, it'll, they'll constantly keep turning the gears out. So I'd rather have a gear ha be bottlenecked uh, so we can kind of stock up on the uh, planks and then use them and top them up when we need to until we actually need the actual um, warehouses as well. We're slowly going through here and all of this has been built except this one little bit here so we can cross over here. But we are finally, finally getting there. But I think that is a good place for us to kind of end. So if you've enjoyed this, make sure to check out my other content here, especially my second channel, if you're interested in any future content I want to do, because that is a daily content channel. So without further ado, thank you so much for watching Timberboy and keep smiling and I'll see you in the next video.